And welcome back here to our blind first playthrough of Greedfall. There is some shady stuff going on here with the Teleme, uh, the Ordo Luminous, and the natives. They're putting together concentration camps or something. It's insane. But I feel like we've reached the end of that little um, uh, that little quest line for a moment. And now what we're doing is I'm trying to find the map. Uh, getting the hell out of here. And let's see. We have some major quests here. So uh, we have a village to go to, the Scholars and Expedition. So that's trying to work with the Teleme and the Alliance. We also have Mystery of the Ancient Ruins by Lady Morange. Now that one really interests me, but we're still on side quests here. And as I go through, Kurt has something for us. We also, I want to go check out and find out what's going on with Petrus. Even though I don't like the Teleme as much, he wants to go get some leverage against the Mother Cardinal. That's uh, up on my priority list. But before we do that, I, we have one more of these. The Children of Tirfridi, a peculiar alliance. We have to go uh, communicate Ulan's offer in Hikmet. So let's uh, actually run to a portal, get the hell out of here, and uh, meet you in Hikmet. And the closest place for us to uh, probably travel from is just our home here in San Mateus. Which I'm scared every time I come in here. Who knows what they're going to do to us. Gotta get the hell out. Oh, we're walking through a gate with their symbol of the sun. Oh, hey. How are you guys? Hey, what's up, Kurt? Yeah, we have some stuff with you. Uh, but let's just travel. Hikmet. There we are. We have to talk to the captain of the outpost, but that's about another quest. We want to go communicate the offer. Let's do it. I think our residence is probably the best place. Welcome. What's going on? Oh, you have more to say? Have you considered my proposition? I have, actually. Um, put it off. Oh. You know what? I feel like... Is any of this timed? I'm going to accept it now. Very well. Let's go and discover what the governor would rather keep hidden from the world. Excellent. How would you like to go about this? We must search her apartments in St. Matthias. They'll be guarded, of course. But if we are discreet, that shouldn't be a problem. This is taking quite a risk. The congregation's reputation could suffer if we're caught. And my cousin's position would be weakened. I know. But keep in mind that I know the palace extremely well. And if we want to be sure to pass without being noticed, we need only dress ourselves up as servants. That would improve our chances. Well, let's do it. Okay, this does seem a higher priority, so we're going to go with him. Uh, servants in the Teleme. Um, Vasco, her, no, let's go with Kurt. Oh, here, how do we take people off? Remove. Remove. There we are. I've just changed my mind. We're just jumping on this. Search the Cardinal's apartments. Well, uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to change our destination mid-stream uh, here. Very good, guys. Hello, hello. Let's travel. I would think our residence would be the right place to start. And let's do this all over again in reverse. Okay, and we have made it. So, uh, where the hell do we get clothing for servants' clothing? Can we purchase any at a store? Where do they want us to specifically go here? So, all the way up to the governor's palace. Let's see. There is a store with scales in the market. I don't see anything else. Very... This is going to be weird. We're just going to have to play it out. See how it works. I reserve the right, as always, to reload if I make a, a mistake that I just don't want to live with. I try to live with mistakes and choices I make, but um, game mechanic things can be a little different. What do we have over here? Come closer. Don't hesitate. All of our products. Welcome to the best holy item shop in San Mateus. Uh, not interested in holy items, but it, let's chat. Do you like it here in San Mateus? It is impossible not to like it here. The air is purer than it is on the continent. The Malachor is far away. And 
rumor has it that this island is the one Saint Matthias himself chose as his final resting place. Well, we'll find out one day as we continue the story. Let us see what we can purchase. So I'm looking around here, and the only thing I'm seeing, these are all Teleme marked, and they cost like 300, 400, but there are a ton of these comfortable vests. Now, I don't, they don't give a faction, but are servants an actual faction? These kind of look, I don't know what else to do. I'm going to buy a couple of these comfortable vests, or three of them actually. 58 still. I don't know. See, the last time I went against my instincts and I was trying to figure out the whole clothing thing uh, with Goodbye. the knots, and it, it was as simple as I thought it was. Oh, they put us in clothes right away. There, now we all look ridiculous. Do we look like servants? I don't know that we do completely, but let's uh, let's go see if this will get what we need to have done. Hello, doctor. I mean, they have beautiful architecture. Nice buildings and everything. I mean, it's... Ooh, what is... Have I not been over there? Is that just a symbol? Or is that part of their church? Where's the cathedral? You know what I'm saying. Alright, guys. And let's check our map here. Is it upper floor above us? So straight through. Let's go. Never mind us here, folks. I mean, we were just in here. They should kind of recognize that. Hi, we're the Legate. We have to go up further. Um, this doesn't seem like we should be in here. We have to go up higher. How do we get up higher? What's the question mark? Hmm. This all seems shady. We're just going to go do it anyway. We're just being assholes. Oh. Ah, your excellency. The Enlightened must have sent you. I would like to ask a favor of you. I'm listening. As you may be aware, we suspected this island might be the one St. Lucius wrote about. Did you? We did, but let me explain. This island was where St. Matthias lived at the end of his life, and where he founded a perfect community. Some time ago, we created a village which we called Eden, following his example. We chose this place as it seemed to be the closest to the one described in the Holy Scriptures. It is a home to a community of converted islanders, accompanied and guided in their budding faith by our theologians. As you can imagine, it is of the utmost importance to us, all the more so because we discovered some tablets there which were engraved by our founder. An extraordinary discovery that confirms your suspicions. I see you understand. Alas, these tablets were stolen probably by the islanders who still reject our influence. I know that you are generally well accepted by the natives. That is why I was hoping that you could help us to retrieve what belongs to us. I suppose I could go to Eden and try and retrieve them. Marvelous. The leader of the community, Father Eustinius, will be able to answer your questions. May the Enlightened assist you in this holy quest, Your Excellency. Uh, yeah, no thank you. I almost. Um, I still don't understand how we're supposed to get through. Let's see. Can we actually open this? Is it locked? This is not where we want to be. Oh, we found something, though. I'll take it. Key to a secret room in San Mateus Palace. What? We still might be dressed like servants. Like, where are servants, though? I, I don't even see any. What's in here? Oh, here we go. Here's our stairway running through this weird it's just like our governor's palace you know all right hey the shadows are cool i'll take that accentuate the positives okay well servant where are we going now there's a search the cardinal's apartments so a couple different there's a main room into our right but let's go forward first Yeah, just like our place, of course. Hmm. And there's no other way out of here? Nope. Okay. There's there's pluses and minuses about this game, guys. I'm seeing it. Like, oh, 
But, I mean, that's a plus. I like that ship there. That looks cool. Now, we could go forward into it, or we could go left to keep searching. I say we go left. Let's see if we find anything else of interest. Are there any reflections? There are none. I understand, though. That's tough. Put that in on mirrors everywhere. That would mess the game up. Is there any reason to be in here? The hat room. Okay. Well, if this isn't a mess in here. I want to look around before we pick up whatever it is we're trying to grab here. The hell is this? Weird, man. Okay, well, let's uh, grab whatever it is. What what kind of leverage are we finding on the lady? Are we going to get busted on our way out here? Note from a servant. Your eminence, we have reorganized the basement room as you ordered. The damage caused by your excellence's guests was substantial, and we regretfully had to replace the carpet, which had been heavily stained. I hope you will find the new carpets to your taste. I made sure the key to the room was on your desk, as usual. Find what is hidden under the palace in San Mateus. Um, lower floor. So yeah, we have to go all the way out through again. All right. Beautiful stuff, though. The lighting is still awesome. Tons of wood. The woodwork. A little too fancy. Never mind us, we're just uh, running through all your stuff. She just talked to us in these clothes, but now they're like, oh, they're a servant. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Now, where was the... Way down. Possibly behind us, but there's... I want to check this room first. We're servants, just let us in. We can go anywhere. Never mind us. Oh, there's the man himself. Yeah. Yeah, he look, looks cool. Wink. <laughs> Good. I like when we can only go so many places. Anything hidden under here? Can't even go under it. Okay, guys. All right. I'm glad we're getting this one out of the way, though. I feel like we need... Um, the leverage just to sit in our back pocket and Petrus is like the only guy who's not cool with us right now he's suspicious All our, everybody else is either nice or we have friendly now with Vasco oh somebody down here to confront us no just a servant walk away walk away there son I do appreciate there's no sneaking I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather do this and just kind of get the story going than have some weird, um, I gotta sneak and I gotta hide behind these barrels and I gotta hide behind him and you could do it that way, couldn't you? Alright, come on guys. Come on guys. And you know what, they wouldn't even questioned, um, Siora or the not Vasco with us, would they? Careful, guys. Unlike in Dragon Age, I can't just switch to the character if I get stuck with them blocking me in the door. Okay, ready? Is this her secret? What is she doing? Blood orgies? What? I don't know. Ah, well. This is a very unique place. The smell of stupor and vice reign as its masters. You're not wrong. We should search this place. We should. I saw what we're supposed to pick up, but I want to look around a little first. Books. Dirty. Oh, key. Hell yeah. You know what? Before we go in there, let's pick this up then. And that. Oh, for goodness sake. This room reeks of alcohol. And not just any old alcohol, if my nose does not deceive me. Cornelia always had great taste when it came to drinking. So she just comes down here and drinks? It seems that someone forgot their earring. Ugh. Oh, here is an object of more than questionable taste. 
A woman from a good family would never wear it. It's junk. The kind of thing a courtesan would wear. I didn't know you were an expert on the subject, Father. Ooh, Father. The subject of jewellery. Of course. No, of courtesans. We are here at the heart of human depravity. Outrageous luxury, excessively priced alcohol, obvious debauchery. Surely this is enough to incriminate the Mother Cardinal. No, my child. These things are common in certain circles, even in Teleme, unfortunately. Cornelia may well have organized these things for others. These parties might be of use in gaining some political favor. We must find out who is involved and learn more. The earring that we found may help us with that. We could ask at the brothel if it belongs to a prostitute. We should continue searching. Perhaps we missed something. Perhaps we did. Let's go in this door. Although I do want to go uh, pin that earring on someone. That would be fun. All right. Mother Cardinal Cornelia's account book. This account book lists many loans made from a moneylender called the Magpie. For every expense, there is a corresponding money input which completely cancels it. The sums are astronomical. However, there is no mention of where this money comes from. There are also many recurring payments to a certain candy cane. This document is highly important. By reading it carefully, you could learn a lot. The Mother Cardinal apparently borrows large amounts of money from a moneylender. Actually, enormous sums. What's more, she does so quite regularly. How does she manage to give it all back? Hmm. And the name Candy Cane crops up several times. Quite suspicious, don't you think? This sweet person must be doing her huge favors to get these sums. I think we have everything we need. There is probably a connection between these pleasure parties and the account books. Let's ask a few questions. The moneylender is well established. He can be found near the main square. As for this candy cane, the name doesn't ring any bells to me, but the moneylender must know more about him. We can also go and gather information at the coin tavern. Perhaps the manager knows him. Sounds good. I almost feel like going to the tavern first. Which is just like a given, you know? Uh, but... Fun, fun. I, I like these kind of run-around mystery, because I like the lore. I like the story in the game. More sometimes than the actual, uh... E I mean, even the fighting and running around. It's fun. It's, it's great, but... It's all about discovery. And, uh, learning new things. And seeing how the world gets built. Is this our way up? Must be. I thought I was going the wrong way. We went the right way. And we will change our clothes back here in a moment. Let's go. Get out of the palace. Question the prostitutes. Ooh, it's evening time. You know what? That's that's fine. We can take on some thieves. Or some inquisitors if they come after us. And we have a couple doors here. Where's the closest? We've got the coin tavern. Question the prostitutes. Question the innkeeper. Uh, I say, yeah, we'll go straight down to our right. I kind of see it. Okay. Let's see if we get jumped anywhere. Seem to be guards. The main square shouldn't be the place, I wouldn't think. Although we got jumped by the Inquisitor. That's all I'm saying. All right, guys. Did I hear a cat? I thought I heard a cat. Uh, that's an alley. Let's uh, let's avoid the alleys. Let's go down the main roads. Praise him. I see her arms up. Oh, some loot. More magnificent feathers, which are just for sale, I think. I don't think we even craft with those. I see that stuff down there, but that's not my first priority. Let's... To the left, yeah. we got going on. Is this the front way? The back way? Front way? Okay. Hello. Uh, looks kind of like a tavern we've been in before, but that's, you know, to be expected at this point. What's up, innkeeper? Can I get you anything? You look familiar, innkeeper. I'm here for something else. Can I ask you a couple of questions? If you wish. 
What would you like to know? Mention the Mother Cardinal. Interrogate him on his big clients. Uh, ask him about... Find out about Candy Cane. I'm going to go with Candy Cane first. What can you tell me about a certain Candy Cane? Candy Cane? Everyone speaks about him, or has heard of him, but no one really knows him. And what do they say about him? Here, nothing. You need to go downstairs for that sort of thing. To the games room and the brothel? Yes, that's more the kind of place where they'd talk about him. All right, and uh, we'll go through it then. How about big clients? You sometimes deliver goods to your big clients. Isn't that right? Of course. The rich don't like to get drunk among mere mortals. And have you ever supplied anyone from the palace? Yes, that has happened. It suits them. And who places these orders? Well, a steward, of course. Don't you know how things work? A woman? Dressed in a long green cloak? No, the steward is more discreet. On the other hand, the person in the big green coat, the steward speaks to her sometimes. They know each other or work together. What woman in the big green cloak? Is that something that we could have already discovered that we haven't yet? Or did I miss that? Um, let's see here. Uh, Mother Cardinal. Do you think that the Mother Cardinal may have ever been here? <laughs> Are you drunk or something? I have to go. I will leave you to your work. Oh, we must be drunk. Okay, well... Let's go downstairs, I suppose, but let's check our journal. Okay, there's nothing in the journal, but we can go back through here and question prostitutes and bookkeepers and people. Let's go this way first. I don't... This is just the coin guard barracks. Okay, we don't actually have to go in here, then. Thank you. Although we have Kurt with us, maybe get something out of him? I don't know. And down here, the same setup as the other place. Thank you. And, all right, we have prostitutes and we have bookkeepers. Is this the bookkeeper? Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? Or not. No, he is. He is. Uh, candy cane betting an another arena. Ooh, well. Uh, candy cane first. I imagine that the name Candy Cane rings a bell. Obviously. Even though I would prefer it wasn't the case. He's Why? a sort of organizer. He captures most of the beasts who fight in the arena. How is that a problem? Apparently, he's fixed a few fights. These kind of rumors aren't good for my business. If that's the case, why don't you stop him? He has friends, protectors. Without solid evidence, no one will lift a finger. And the only ones who wanted to speak of his cartel have disappeared. Do you know where I can find him? He often hangs out around the port at night, but I strongly advise you to stay away from the guy. I know how to look after myself. Thanks for the information. All right, so the port, got it. Um, why would we ask him about the Mother Cardinal? Nobody, he's not going to know anything. Has the Mother Cardinal ever come here to place bets? <laughs> the Mother Cardinal? And why not Saint Matthias himself while you're at it? All right, let's get out of here. I must be going. Next time, then. Very good. Uh, citizen just chugging. What's up, guys? Let's go in here. There A we are. feast for the eyes, ladies and gentlemen. And it's free. Come and see me as soon as you have made your choice. You won't be disappointed. Of that, I can assure you. Come on. Imp. So, have you found what you were looking for? Let's just say that I'm gathering information. My treasures are worth their price. I promise you that you will get your money's worth. For you... I'm sure we can make a special arrangement. I'm just thinking that uh, this kid's really come a long way. Didn't we just see him in the other town? At the other tavern? And wasn't he just a noob at that point? So, I mean, now he's the pimp. Eh. Uh, we could pay, sure. Intuition, let Petrus intervene. Father, do you want to explain to this man why we are here? Of course. We are not here for your services, but to lead an investigation. Several clients of yours have made a complaint. Precious objects disappearing after your employees' visits. People in very high places are concerned, which explains why we've been asked to take care of it. This cannot be. I... Well, 
Listen, come in, but please be discreet. Thank you for your cooperation. So now we can talk to the people, right? Yeah, let's go do some questioning and find out who knows what. Let's see here, lady. You first. Prostitute with no name. Look, a new face. Oh, but wouldn't that be... Hello, father. I... Uh, oh, hello. Hmm. We would like to know if you know who this earring belongs to. Is it maybe yours? Absolutely not. I am careful not to leave my belongings with clients, and I have no desire to answer your questions. That doesn't fall within my services. Very well. Goodbye. Oh, we could drop some coin, though. I mean, why not? I get she's trying to be discreet so she can keep doing this work. Um, we'll just move down the line. There are too many of you for me alone, my little lambs. Sorry, madam, but we're here to ask other favors of you. This question might seem a little surprising, but do you know who this earring might belong to? Why? It's mine. Ooh. I lost it when... How did you get hold of it? Are you sure you want to broach that subject here? You're right. Come with me. All right. Well, what do you want? Why are you giving me back my earring? You know where we found it, don't you? Obviously. I realized as soon as I got back that I'd lost it. I imagine your pimp does not know that you take part in these parties. He doesn't dabble in this at all? No. Do not say anything to him, I beg you. He's on my case enough as it is. Then I suggest you answer my questions. <sighs> what would you like to know? Oh, she going behind her pimp's back and taking on side work without cutting him in? Oh, he, she going to get pimp slapped. That's all I'm saying. I don't know. I don't know the business. I just, from what, I, what I've gathered. <laughs> Ask about the partygoers. Uh, find out about the organizers. Suggest the presence of the Mother Cardinal. We're going to go through it. Ask about partygoers. Let's go. Could you tell us who you saw at the parties? Rich people, or better. They seemed very rich and important to me. But I don't know them. Okay. Do you know who organizes these parties? Not really, no. A steward pays me when I go, but I don't see anyone else, apart from the clients. You can't even give me a single name? No. The only person who sometimes speaks to this steward is a woman who is always wearing a green coat. She never takes part in the festivities, but the steward rushes over whenever she arrives. And the mother cardinal? Do you think that an important person from Teleme could have partaken in these soirees? You're thinking of Mother Cardinal, aren't you? You lot really think we are a bunch of degenerates. You're hardly a shining example of virtue, my child. Just answer our questions. Sorry, Father, I don't know the Mother Cardinal, but I strongly doubt she dabbles in that. You don't think you could recognize her and you don't think you've crossed paths. What a testimony. Okay, talk about the woman in the green coat. Charisma, try to learn a bit more about her. Um, I think the woman in the green coat's the biggest, but uh, let's go with her first. This woman in the green coat, could you tell me about her? She always hides her face and never joins us. Then she disappears into a little office and locks the door. I see. She is quite important then. So we've seen that little office, haven't we? Is that where we came in with the key? Uh... Try to learn a bit more. We have 50% chance. Admit it, you must know more than you're letting on. It's virtually impossible not to recognize someone while being so close to these influential people, wouldn't you agree? Well, I was able to recognize someone, once. Even with a mask on, I'm good at recognizing my clients. Please continue. I'm all ears. I don't want to implicate anyone, but he is of no real importance. And you've probably never even heard of him. It's the local moneylender. I know very well who you're referring to, my dear. But I didn't mention anything to you, huh? This stays between us. I don't even remember the subject of this conversation anymore. Very good. And what about Mr... Mr.? Maybe. Candy Cane. Do you know someone who goes by the name of Candy Cane? Everyone does. He is a powerful person. So his name makes the rounds. Have you ever spotted him at these pleasure parties? In all honesty, I wouldn't even be able to recognize him. I've heard his name before, but that's all. Thank you for your help. 
Be sure not to mention this to anyone. I'd lose my clients if they suspected me of speaking about them, you know. Of course. Well, now, do we have more than one possible uh, lead here for a moment? Let's just take a look at our map is the easiest way. Well, first of all, we go straight to the money lender, right? Oh, question the innkeeper. Innkeeper? No, we have both. Innkeeper and possibly the uh, the bookmaker, which is the money lender. And what do we have over here? Oh, there's just a whole bunch of other ones. It's Sometimes it's hard to click on the stuff. Okay. We're going to get in trouble at some point for asking so many questions, I would think. I don't think we have anything else to say to the pimp. Other than your ladies uh, working behind your back, but I don't know. She's allowed as far as I'm concerned. Dude. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? We just had a conversation. Did, so there's nothing else to talk to him about. About betting? About the betting? Hold on. On what would we be betting? On the fights in the arena. Okay, you never heard nothing of them. relevant, right. Quite a few come here and bet fortunes. And do they win? A few do. Others have less luck. But they do get the thrill either way, you see. And that's all that counts. All right, all right. Well, we're out of here for now. I must be going. Next time, then. I mean, maybe we'll run around and do some arena fights. I just don't. It's not at the top of my list, necessarily. Although I could see on a replay doing it and making, you know, it a priority for your character. Where? Talk to the barkeep? Where are we trying to get to now? It's so weird. Directly behind us. The radar is so weird sometimes. Oh. Hello. Can I get you anything? Look who it is. I feel that once again you're not here to support my business. Ask about the woman in the green coat. I'm looking for a woman who comes here. She always wears a long green coat. Yes, I have seen this coat before. But I have no idea who is beneath it, if that's what you're asking. All I know is that I've seen her speaking to a regular, a steward of the palace who comes to place big orders. Always prime choice. I have to go. I will leave you to your work. Question the innkeeper, got it. We need to talk to the... S what are we doing now? Come on. What is this? Question the bookmaker. We just did. Did we not? Yeah, guys, come on now. Come on. Hold on. Hold on. Good day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? I don't... I don't get this. Okay. Hard, sorry. This is the first brain fart in this game that I've had where it's like, what? I'm looking for someone. A woman wearing a big green coat. Yeah, I know who you mean. She's a good client. Okay. She comes in, especially for the big fights, and she has prime information. Do you know where I can find her? No, I don't even know her name. She wouldn't happen to be coming back to collect some winnings, would she? No, and I can't really tell you when she'll show up next. I must be going. Next time, then. Got it. Now who? Now what? Now what do we got? What are we doing? Where are we going? Question the money lender, the magpie. Yes, which will be out near the square. Okay. That's a little bit of a fetchy quest so far, and like you got to go back, and you can only do it in a certain order, at a certain time, in a certain way. It's getting a little funny, guys. No, oh, we might want to. Which way are we going here? Um, might want to head home. What do we have to do? We can go a few different ways here. Let's go back and left, right? And back down this way. And are we home? Is this it? Almost? I think this is it. There we are. We're going to wait till a different time of day. I like having a different crew with us for a minute. Although, Sierra and Vasco are my favorites so far. Um, we're still wearing crappy clothes. Let's wait till the morning. Switch our clothes. Uh, how about Dawn? Okay, we all look good now. Let's uh, push forward. Now, does he only hang out at night? And then we have the other guy who's hanging out in the uh, port at night, isn't it? 
But let's do this first, I suppose. Oh, do we actually go in a door to talk to him? He's not just hanging out outside. I don't... Oh, all the way back and around. Okay. They do not make it uh, instinctive to try to follow the radar. Because <laughs> there's no alley or way through there. we got to come all the way around through the only way to get into this dead end. And we have people who want to kill us. What's up, guys? How are you? Uh, you look a little shady. Let's go have a conversation here. The money lender, huh? Oh, there's no going upstairs. Hello. Can I help you? Yes, actually. I have a small favor to ask. You don't look like you need money from me. I'll get straight to the point. I have bad news for you. I know about the... The decadent parties at the palace. I know that you take part in them. What? But <coughs> what are you talking about? Stop acting all innocent. I have all the evidence I need to incriminate you. Although your reputation isn't spotless, there are others who have a lot more at stake than you. What if I were to spread it around town that you boast about being there? You know what happens when tongues wag too much. Ruthless. That's enough! All right, all right, I'll get the message. What do you want? Um, mention Candy Cane. Talk about the Mother Cardinal. Well, we'll go through it. It would appear that you know the Mother Cardinal very well. I know that she borrowed money from you. I even know how much. What I want to know is why. <laughs> I have no idea. Do you really think that my clients tell me everything about their lives? Does she still owe you money? No, she always pays me back on time. And with interest. Do you think she's plundering the city funds? If that were the case, the funds would have been depleted long ago. Nah, the money's coming from elsewhere. Tell me about Candy Cane. We're not close, if that's what you want to know. I just know his name, like everyone else. I mean, there are some rumours. They say he does his business in the basement of the Coin Tavern. What kind of business? Oh, nothing to do with my line of business. He deals in arena fights, which are beyond me. I would advise you to keep all of this to yourself. <laughs> I, I don't want any trouble. I will be as silent as a stone. So, how do you see things, my child? I think that the usurer is lending money to the Cardinal, and very significant sums at that. With this money, she bets on the arena fights while hiding in a big green coat. And she also gives large amounts to a certain candy cane, known for fixing fights. Not only does our dear Cornelia love betting games, but she also wouldn't think twice about cheating to win. Maybe he's just giving her advice. How can we prove anything? We can always try asking him. Who knows? Perhaps he will give us an answer. Find and question Candy Cane. Oh, and where's Candy Cane? Is Candy Cane just right back at the uh, coin tavern? Where we were? Or... Wait, isn't that the tab? Well, how would we know that that's where Candy Cane was? Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go. Let's see how it goes here. I I get so they're they're thinking that it's the cardinal that is in the green coat and doing her thing and all that. That that makes sense, you know. Um, can we go this way? Ooh. Can we go and jump over? No, this is a whole different place. Let's just pick up our stuff. I Also, I dropped off our other clothing for now. So if we need to put on uniforms, we'll just go back to our box. I'm not selling the basic stuff because we might have to reuse some of it. Hey, guys. Oh, there's a dead tree almost. Candy cane. Yeah, it's a barrack street. Some back alley stuff. got beast essence my favorite is this nothing okay I always think there's more to a place than there is what are we doing here then there's got to be a wait is it so confusing 
but yeah, up through there and in. Let's just check this out. What do we get? All right, guys, come on. Oh, what the hell is this? A lift? I feel like we're getting pulled Candy in. Kane is not here. At least not yet. Remember, my child, the bookmaker told us that he hangs around here at night. That's true. You're right. Let's come back later. Are they going to make me have to run all the way home and wait out and then come back? Or can I hide out somewhere? Let's see here. Um, probably the former. Candy cane is not here. At least not yet. Remember, okay. my child. All right, well, we will come back here at uh, night. nighttime. We'll be right back. That's true. You're right. Let's come back later. And we're back. Let's confront. Get into a fight. Do whatever we gotta do, right? What's up, fool? Good evening. Are you the one they call Candy Cane? Who are you? De Sade, legate of the merchant congregation. A legate, no less. I imagine in these cases, the one accompanying you is the famous Petrus. You seem to be very well informed. Therefore, you might be able to answer my question. What do you know about a woman in a green coat? Why would I tell you? We know that you have business with this woman, and that she is actually the Mother Cardinal. How did you... You would be better off forgetting that. That's not exactly the response I'd imagined. But nevertheless, seems rather eloquent. I told you to forget about it, or you'll soon run into trouble. Legate or no legate. Come on, it was just an innocent little conversation. Goodbye, Mr. Kane. Bye. And Godspeed. We have enough information. Really? Is the fact that she bets on fights that are potentially fixed enough for you? It's already a huge scandal. Let me just think about it for a little while. I will find a way of putting this information to good use. I have faith in you, Father. I don't. Although, now we're on nice, so I'll take that. We gained a thousand. Um, okay, we're gonna shut up for a minute and get the hell out of here. Are we gonna get jumped on our way through? Let's see if we can make it back home. Um, yeah, it seemed a little crazy there, as far as I'm concerned. Like, why is Petrus trying to blackmail, like, the leader of his faction just to help us who he barely knows? I, I get it. Just to keep balance for everything to be good because he's a good man. I get it. But, uh, at the same time, all right, all right. Uh, let's actually check our codex. And now I would like to com uh, complete our travel to Hikmet to try to communicate Ulan's offer if we can. Because that's what we tried to start to do today. Okay. Now, I did learn something today, though. That you can aggro um, people. Here. But if you run, like, I think there's there might be some, yeah, up there. They'll just stay there. Like, you, you almost get into a fight, but if you run away, they won't chase you. So it's a little, you know, staged, like, location-based. We'll see how we play with it in the future. I'm, I know by not doing all the random encounters, I'm, I'm a little bit missing out on some of the experience that I could be getting. But I think we're doing lots of side quests so that it'll kind of even out. Uh, let's switch up our team. I want to go with... Who do, where are we going now? We're talking... We're going to go with Siora. Um, and let's see here. I'm going to go with Vasco. I like Vas Vasco a lot. So we're friendly. It's doing well. Let's hit it. And let's travel. Hikmet? Hikmet. Our residence. Why not? Hello all. I probably have a couple things I can sell quick. Like a feather. I think that was it. That's so funny. And we're back. What's up, guys? 
Is it nighttime, daytime? Let's get to the daytime. Where are we at? Almost dawn? Let's go regular daytime, five hours. I don't think we're time sensitive. We can sleep. And where do they want us to go from here? We're heading to the governor's palace to communicate the, uh, the message here. All right, sounds good. See if anything cuts us off between here and there. I, we made it to the governor here once, didn't we? we? Yeah, we had to introduce ourselves. We haven't really uh, gone and done anything for them yet, but... And that might play in here because we're not on great terms with either of the uh, other factions right now. Let's see, though. Find out. What's up, guy? Guy? Your Excellency, Lord Dusade, and to what do I owe this honor? Uh, the Alliance. I met Ulan, the Bone Blower's clan chief, from the village of Vignamri. He is an open-minded man who holds great expectations of exchanges with the colonies. He would like to meet you to discuss a treaty, even an alliance. Ulan, you say? I have never heard mention of this name, but to finally have an ally among the natives could only be beneficial. That is excellent news. Still, I fear that I cannot leave the city. That would be taking too much of a risk. I doubt that Ulan will come to Hikmet. He is looking for an alliance, but he is not desperate. Such a gesture would be considered a sign of weakness by his clan. That is understandable, I suppose. Do they grasp the concept of emissaries? Do you think that solution might work? I think that might be possible. I'm sure he would understand that you could not come to see him in person for the same reason. Excellent. Finally, some clear skies in our negotiations with the natives. My right-hand man will then go to this village to finalize an agreement with King Ulan. I'll be there too, to make sure everything goes according to our plans. There is another matter concerning the same village that I would like to bring to your attention. A wandering merchant, a member of Ulan's clan, is being kept in your outpost. Can you authorize his entry into the city? I see no harm in that. This merchant is certainly not a threat to us. And he might even prove useful, if the negotiations with his clan should take a foul turn. Here, please be so kind as to give him this letter of passage. If he presents it to the guards, they will let him in and he'll be able to establish his stall in town. I thank you. I hope to see you again. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord. All right, let's give our uh, the permission to the itinerant merchant in... The outpost here. This is kind of fun. Okay. Let's, um, you know, let's just head straight there. If there's anything interesting, we'll leave, fill you in. All right. Made, made it to the outpost camp. A little fast travel. This place is beautiful. I do like the cities, the way they break them down. Um, where are we going, though? Oh, we're right up here, aren't we? Very good. We have another captain that we're supposed to see about another thing, you know, but we'll we'll deal with that. I think that's about the uh the people being attacked by natives, possibly. Yeah, this guy here. We're not talking to you for a moment. Can we go past? Thank you. Not our first priority. We'll come back for you, man. What do we got? What do we got? Where's this guy? See up top? Oh, further down, okay. Weird. Oh, I see. Out in the middle of nowhere. Please, help me. Just keep walking, Renaixe. This does not concern you. Have mercy. They will kill me. I am but a merchant who wishes to trade with the big city. Right. Okay, threaten the warriors. Uh, try to reason with them, or we'll use our intuition, tell them some troops are approaching. If I were you, I would leave at once. A squad of guards are approaching. Not Fradi. Let's leave. We are not ready for an encounter yet. But yes. we will get you for this, merchant. Adloreda on Almanawi. May the trees along your path always bear fruit. Think nothing of it. 
Ulan told me that you were not able to enter the town. It is true. The soldiers did not let me enter. They left me outside, and the Donea Exdragao took advantage of this opportunity to attack me. Rest assured, I have obtained permission for you to enter from the governor of Hikmet, which should allow you to set up your stall in the city. Adloreda Renaixi. Thanks again. Farewell, merchant. Perhaps we will meet again. Awesome. Now we go inform Ulan. So those people, though, those were um, some of the native, uh, different tribe or village, because uh, they're not happy with him being uh, so buddy buddy. I think with the alliance, but you know, stuff happens. We're trying to find a balance here with things, because um, I don't think anybody's totally leaving ever. But they have to have respect here and like permissions and communication and try to not convert everybody. I don't know. We don't know that this is just me being I idealistic. Um, I'm not ready to search everything else, although we'll have some question marks. I'm sticking to kind of quests, doing side quests, seeing where it takes us on stuff, and then maybe I'll do some cleanup running around at some point. And if we do that, we'll be a little stronger, and I can just kind of cut and edit everything up, you know? All right, let's go. Where you at, Ulan? Uh, oh, we can actually go to the village. Sure. It is nice to be able to fast travel uh, once you've actually walked through a place. Alright, let's go see uh, if this deal goes well or if it all falls apart. We have intuition. Maybe that'll help us. Oh. Oh, I didn't see him for a minute. Ulan, I see that the governor of Hikmet's emissary is already here. He is. And I am very thankful that you succeeded in organizing this meeting. I am full of hope for the future. We are very grateful as well, Your Excellency. However, if you could leave us, I am sure you can understand that the discussion we are about to have must remain confidential. Naturally. I hope that you will reach an agreement. That seems a little weird. Wait outside for one hour, 59 minutes. Um, I mean, I guess it's confidential, but then what? Like, hmm, I don't know. You know, I'm also, just so you know, I'm a huge fan of history. I'm a fan of um, the French and Indian Wars, which are pre-revolutionary uh, Americas with the French and the British and the different Native American tribes and uh, just crazy like the history of who's screwing over who who joined who um who you know and it so this island i'm pretty sure not every just because they're a native village doesn't mean that they're not going to go to war against other native villages or side maybe with the alliance against the teleme and so they're just dividing things up and the teleme have their own native village now that's totally converted to the light that they're going to end up fighting so it's like brother against brother i don't know but you know what let's um what do we have here Hour 23? Let's just stand here and wait for it. Alright, I think we are about ready to go. We've got four minutes, three minutes. And anything else? No, we just trigger. Is he in there stabbing this guy to death? Like, and there's dead bodies? I don't know what's going to happen. Not yet. Okay, they're both alive. So, have you reached an agreement? Our discussions were very fruitful. However, we are faced with a problem. Really? Our peace treaty depends on the ability to exchange freely. And Chief Ulan has warned me that our merchants would be at risk of being attacked by the neighboring clan. Mordun, the oh. chief of the village of Igugsob, is a Danea Exregal. He is among those who think that the people of your island are only here to take from us. But his village would also benefit from this agreement. If you could convince him to meet us, we could reach an understanding, allowing the caravans to pass through his territory. Without this, I am afraid we would not be able to make a commitment. Peace and trade are linked. If our merchants risk their lives coming here... I am sure that you will manage to convince him that the Renaixe are not all bad. I can try, at least. 
Give it a shot. We will wait here and hope that you will manage to reason with him. Okay, well that's fun. Organize a meeting between Ulan and Mordun. What do we have over here, by the way? Let's loot something. Some gold coins and just some ammo sitting in there. Okay, well, let's head outside. I imagine... So that's just going to be between here and Hikmet. Let's check our map real quick. Right, so up this way. We need to go uh, arrange that meeting. We also have some stuff to do from Kurt. We have a million other things to do on this island, and we're going to do them all in the next episode.